All right, well, let's take a look uh, at our last article for the day and find out who it is that got pwned. Looks like you're about to get pwned. Fatality. Yeah! All right, this article comes to us from Naked Security. Critical cryptographic Java security blunder patched. Well, it's critical, so I'm glad that they <laughs> did that. Uh, Funny story how it happened. You know, they were they were baking some cookies. The next thing you know, there was some bad Java code got pushed out. It happened. <laughs> so, like, yeah, they called the, it a yeah. blunder. Like, yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oopsie daisy. Daniel, do you remember the old days when, like, Java exploits were coming out every week, and it was a freaking nightmare yeah. to maintain Java? I thought Java was just like a backdoor for hackers. Basically, you know, <laughs> yeah. but we all had the Java runtime environment installed. Everybody had that little coffee cup in their system tray, and, and you, you had to have it. So many applications and websites relied on Java. We don't hear about it so much anymore, and that's because everybody got burned so bad on it, they moved away, but... It is still out there. There are still critical enterprise workloads that are run on Java because of the the you know billions and billions of dollars that were invested in it over the years. Uh, so, in order for us to hear about a Java exploit today, it's got to be a pretty bad one. Yeah. And this one is pretty bad. Uh, so deep down in the black cold heart of Java, uh, it has various authentication mechanisms where it can test to make sure that code is signed properly and execute you know, some of the, the bug protections they put in there. Well, somebody made a mistake. And with their algorithm for testing to make sure a signature is valid, they didn't account for zero values. And so if somebody presents a zero value in response to one of their queries, it sees the zero, it runs a hash, the hash is a zero based on the way that they're handling the elliptic, elliptic curve. It's a match, it's a pass. And so anybody can imitate anybody else and Java wouldn't know about it. It completely blows a hole in all of the verification that Java is able to do. So this means this has been around for, for all time in Java? You know, did it did say... It say? I don't think it said... It didn't say which. But it probably it has been around. A article, it's just one so of those where I it just took someone it. to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just like I do with the security and the terms yeah. of services. I want to find out now how, when it was introduced. Um, yeah, because otherwise you'd have to kind of go back and check in each new back version. Back to 2017, it says. Okay. Yeah, they've, they've patched Java 7, 8, and 11. Even though like 7 and 8 aren't fully supported anymore. Uh, that shows you how bad something is if they're going back and patching unsupported versions. Yeah, well. yeah. So this is this is a pretty bad one. The the naked security guys did a great write up on it. If you want to see how it works and all, the original researcher who found it gave it a name. It was uh, what was it psychic uh, psychic memory psychic signatures. Signature, there we go. That's it. Uh, which was a joke based on the Doctor Who psychic paper. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever watched Doctor Who, but he would he would walk into a building or whatever, and he would say, "I'm so and so with the health department." He would hold up uh, a wallet with blank paper. But it was psychic paper, so people would see it and say, oh, yeah, you're with the health department, <laughs> or you're with the FBI. And, that's funny. And so he said, that's how this is. Like, you can hold up whatever credential you want. And you're in. And because of the flaw in how the signatures are tested, it'll pass. It, it will just blindly believe that you are whoever you say you are. So this one's really bad. This is a, a bad one. They, they pushed an update out for it. Uh, if you use Java in your environments, or if you just happen to have it installed, you absolutely 100% need to patch right away. Uh, this one is pretty bad. Uh, not seen in the wild yet, but it's only a matter of time because the 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 write-ups that I've seen do explain exactly how to leverage this. And that means if, if I've seen it, then you, you know the, the nefarious actors have. Yeah, so that was my question. It's not just the people that can say, oh, I wrote my program in Java, I need to do something. But if I've got Java, Java still running on my computer, yeah. I'm at risk as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, imagine you, you go to some website you do a typo by accident. It's got some embedded Java in it. Hopefully, your browser's protecting you from that. Hopefully, you've got host-based intrusion prevention software or whatever that, that protects you. But if not, Java's not going to protect you. So if I had Java and Flash running, uh, <laughs> which would kill me first? Uh, you know, I don't know if there's... You think there's like like con con contemporary bugs for Flash running around? Well, I'm sure the old ones are still yeah, the out there, ones. right? Yeah, like, I mean, are, yeah. are they? Are they, I mean, when's the last time you saw a Flash player fly? Uh, it's right? been a long time. Yeah, it's yeah, been a I, hot minute. So I was, this is a total tangent, but um, my, my nephew was visiting a few months ago, and I wanted to show him Strong Bad Email. Oh, oh man. No yes. way. You remember the oh, you know, yeah. Strong Bad Email? And I used to love it when, Star a, Runner, right? when a new Strong Bad would come out. It was Flash, and so uh -huh. you didn't just watch the video. like You'd have to float your mouse over because there'd be Easter eggs mm -hmm. hidden throughout, right? Well, 
now you don't have Flash anymore. And so I had to show him the Strong Bad stuff on YouTube. And <laughs> You're hoping the person moved their mouse? No, so all the Easter eggs are gone now. And so all the funny little jokes that were hidden in it, we, we've lost that. Uh, and it's just because we wanted to keep our system secure, yeah. which is I mean, just that sounds dumb. stupid as At hell. what price? <laughs> At what price? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's the? I of have freedom? heard of people like going, "Oh, so you found uh, hackers in my in my system? I mean, are they doing anything bad? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're crypto mining. Is that, is that causing me any kind of problem? Well, I mean, no, they're using your CPU. Well, hell, let them do it. Yeah, are those same people go, you know, I got lice, but well, yeah. you know, what's bothering it me? It ain't hurting nobody. Kind of tasty. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> if I can feed another living thing, uh, yeah. Who am I to stop? Yeah. Man's just trying to get by. Um, if you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.